What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. Uh, it's a day late since they came really quick in the mail from Kith, but as you can see, Kith, Ronnie Feig on the box here. If you guys picked up a New Balance, uh, he did last year, the Kiklavis and the other one, whatever it was called, uh, basically same box. So, you know, a little flip top, A6 branding on the top there. And let me show you the top portion where the sizing is. So nothing, it's like a sticker, whatever they use for the branding, for the sizing and whatnot. You got your code on there. 10 and a half is the size that I got. Um, I could have definitely did an 11, uh, a little snug on me. So I'm probably gonna try and find an 11. Another Ronnie Fi kit on here, A6 head on the back, and uh, kit on this side. So that's pretty much it. I'll open the box up just to show you guys the stuff that was in there. Basic box, like I said, same as the New Balance. So you got that little fold portion in the back here. Um, some extras in there with laces. The rope laces that came inside, and I think the other white flat laces in here as well. So I'll take them both out for the review, and let's get into that right now. So cutscene. All right, so back at it, we got the medial side of the shoe. Very fire, in hand, on foot. I did a couple shots, I'll throw a couple up as we're talking just because I have them on the camera roll already. But overall, I was very pleased with the shoe. A couple pictures that I saw online, I was like, okay, I like it. The colorway is really what sold me. Volcano, if you guys are unfamiliar, Gel Diablo uh, Volcano Edition 2.0. Um, if you didn't see it already, there's a Gel Light 3 coming as well, so be in line for that bad boy, L Seasons all day. But overall, very clean. I think he went very simple with the colorway. He didn't go too crazy, uh, if you guys are aware, what the the volcano actually looks like. I'll throw a picture of that up as well. Um, red everywhere. Um, a little crazier when it first came out, but he toned it down with this shoe, obviously, because the 3.0 is coming out in the gel light. So, obviously, that's why he went a little tamer with this. But either way, the aesthetic is very nice. It's comfortable. I did wear them for a couple of hours taking photos, and I put them back on to go out. So, very, very comfortable shoe, but I did go with the 10.5. Definitely need the, uh, the 11. So, your TTS is definitely good. Uh, my TTS on my left foot is an 11, and uh, that's where it's snug, so the 11 would fit perfect. So definitely go TTS on that bad boy, and uh, let's get into some of the detail hits. So right now we have the lateral side. You can see the ASICS logo ends instead of following through like you would normally get on either a Gel Light 3 or a GT2 or whatever other model we're referring to, but it cuts off right towards the end of the ankle area, and then you got your whole logo leading in in a very soft brush suede, clean, uh, underlaying the same color of that pink Volcano-esque color mesh on all of the underlay of the shoe, which is pretty clean as well. Uh, no creasing on your toe box, which is nice. Obviously, I wore them. You really don't see anything in there, which is one of my favorite attributes about the shoe. Other hits, you got a nice smooth new buck across the rest of the tan hits on the shoe, so your heel portion or your heel cup counter area rolling into your lateral side. You got a nice white leather hit of leather or a nice white leather hit underneath that tan portion in the upper last agalet area or grommet area. Rolling down, you can see the leather hit again. Rolling into the rest of the grommets, which are just just hole punch outs, nothing really crazy. They, there's no metal in there, nothing too outstandish, but it's really simple, like it, the aesthetic is clean. Uh, rolling down towards the forefront of the shoe, you got your mesh toe box and a couple different hits on your toe capping area. So you have your new buck in that tannish colorway or beige, whatever color you want to go with. And then you got a nice red accent towards the upper portion of that and one, two, three hits, which is very, very clean, has a nice pop to it. I like the way it looks a lot. Your midsole on the lateral side just has a gel hit in all white. I would like maybe something a little different, but after wearing them, it, it works really well. So uh, pff, kudos, because Pulled it off very well. Uh, medial side, same thing mirrored from the lateral side. So you got your cutoff, you can see it down to the bottom there. I'll flip the lower portion so you can see that everything is mirrored from the top to the bottom. Uh, leather hits, new buck hits, uh, mesh hits, everything is identical. You got your extra hit here in the lower portion of the uh, ASICS logo in the fiery volcano-ish color. We're rolling to the heel counter real quick, which is a 3M blue across the entire portion and more of a salmon-esque hit in the ASICS logo. Uh, tan in the new buck as well, very, very clean. Uh, outsole, heel portion, no color change. Medial side, all white, no gel hit. And uh, the outer portion of the outsole or of the midsole to the outsole is three different colors or two different colors, red, uh, red and blue with the white in the middle, clean ASICS hit, gel hit, whatever have you. Inside, real simple and basic, little nylon, very padded, comfortable. I, I had no issues with it. I liked it a lot. Actually, it was really, really comfortable. And uh, back of the tongue, you got a little mesh hit in there. Uh, really soft foam, nothing too crazy. ASICS hit on the uh, tongue area. You got ASICS Gel Diablo and then RF on the, um, what are that little groove things called, which I am drawing a blank for right now. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think it's on both actually, yeah, RF on both. 
if you guys can see it. Try and keep it in frame for you. Do the on foot for you so you can see what that looks like and uh, throw up a couple more pictures. And I actually almost forgot, so I'm gonna put this bad boy down and pick this up real quick. Uh, these are the rope laces that came in them. It's uh, like a same color as the ASICS logo, rope lace. I didn't like the way it looked. A couple people left them in. I don't really have an issue with it, but it's just not for me with this shoe, only because I think it, it calls for the flat lace, just the look of the shoe. Is better with the flat lace. So you got those, you got the beige ones that I have in, which I think look the best. And then you also have a white flat, which I believe Tony My Voice put in his pair, but you know him. If it ain't white laces, it ain't right laces. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, shoot a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, hit the comment section. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.